Fortnite lagging like crazy? Watch this. I'll show you how to boost FPS with potato settings and make it buttery smooth in seconds. Frustrated with lag and high pain? Gear Up Booster can fix it instantly. Check the download link in the description and get smooth lag-free gameplay in seconds. Step 1. Create Restore Point to create a system restore point in Windows. Start by pressing the Windows key and typing create a restore point, then click the result to open system protection settings. In the window that opens, make sure protection is turned on for your main system drive, usually C. If it's off, click configure and turn it on. Next, click the create button. Give your restore point a meaningful name like Fortnite Potato Graphics and click create again. Windows will take about 10 to 20 seconds to generate the restore point. Once it's done, you'll see a message confirming that it was created successfully. This restore point allows you to roll back your system to this exact state, if anything. Goes wrong later. If possible, you can show a before or after effect, for example, making a system change, then using the restore point to revert everything back as it was. It's a simple yet powerful safety step before installing drivers, software, or updates. Step 2. Disable full screen optimization for Fortnite. Fortnite is installed on your D drive. Start by navigating to the game folder. Go to D, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. In this folder, look for the file named Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping.exe. Once found, right click on it and select Properties. In the Properties window, switch to the Compatibility tab. Now check the box that says Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Then click Apply and OK to save the changes. For extra performance, you can also click Change High DPI Settings. Then check Override High DPI Scaling Behavior and set the scaling to Application. After doing this, launch Fortnite and test the game. You may notice reduced input lag and smoother frame pacing, especially in fast-paced gameplay. For a clear comparison, record short clips before and after disabling full-screen optimizations. Look for differences in input response and FPS consistency, especially if you're a competitive player. Step 3. Setting Fortnite to high performance to set Fortnite on high performance. First, open Windows settings by pressing Windows key plus I next. Click on System then select Display from the left menu. Scroll down and click Graphics, Settings. Here, under Choose an app to set preference, select Desktop app from the dropdown, then click Browse. Navigate to your Fortnite executable file, usually found in D, Epic, Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries Win64, Fortnite Tech Win64, Win Shipping. Yeah. and select it. Once added, click on Fortnite in the list, then click Options. In the pop-up, select High Performance and hit Save. After applying these settings, launch Fortnite and you should notice improved GPU prioritization, resulting in better frame rates and smoother gameplay. To demonstrate the impact, you can record a gameplay session before and after enabling High Performance mode showing FPS or responsiveness differences. This simple tweak ensures your dedicated GPU gets full power for Fortnite, especially useful on laptops or systems with integrated graphics. Step four, get Fortnite potato graphics using this tool. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Optimize Fortnite for potato graphics using NVIDIA Profile Inspector. First, open the tool and select the Fortnite profile. Set anti-aliasing, transparency, super sampling to a uh, underscore mode, underscore, replay, underscore, all. To improve edge smoothing without much performance loss. Disable texture filtering, driver control load, load bias by setting it to off, which lets you manually control texture sharpness. Then, Apply a negative load bias by setting both load bias, DX and OGL. Ta type and add this value and enable negative load bias by setting it to allow. This sharpens textures slightly for clearer visuals without hurting performance. Finally, set texture filtering quality to high performance 
to reduce texture filtering quality and boost FPS. After applying these settings, save your changes. To show the impact, record gameplay before and after applying these tweaks, highlighting the improved frame rates and smoother gameplay even with potato graphics settings. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping and smoother gameplay in any game. The tool is called Gear Up Booster and you can download it directly from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC and launch the app. Once it opens, log in with your Google or Facebook account to access all features. On the Home tab, Gear Up automatically detects the games installed on your PC. If you want, you can also explore thousands of other games for optimization in the Games tab. To start boosting, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want, for example, Fortnite. Just hit the Boost button and the tool will instantly begin optimizing your connection. Gear Up will automatically locate the best server for you, but you can also choose a region manually. Always pick the server closest to your location for the lowest ping. In my case, the Middle East server gives the best results. After selecting your region, head to the End tab where you'll see all available servers. You can either choose the nearest one or let gear up. Automatically select the most stable option. I recommend using automatic mode for consistent performance. Finally, close the settings and launch your game directly through Gear Up Booster. That's it. This tool helps you get a more stable connection, lower ping, and even better FPS. Making your gameplay smoother and more enjoyable whether you're playing Fortnite or any other supported game. Step 5. Moon SI Mode Utility to Optimize System Performance. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away to use the MSI Mode Utility for better system and gaming performance. Start by running the utility as an administrator to ensure it has the necessary access. Once open, locate your key hardware. Components, especially your GPU, NVIDIA, or AMD, and optionally other devices like storage controllers or audio drivers. For your GPU, enable MSI mode by checking the box next to it. This allows the device to use message signaled interrupts, which can help reduce input lag and improve system responsiveness. You can also set the interrupt priority to high to give your GPU processing priority over less critical devices. After making the necessary adjustments, click apply and restart your PC to activate the changes. To see the improvement compare your gameplay before and after enabling NSI mode, you may notice reduced micro stutters, more consistent FPS, and smoother input, especially in fast-paced or competitive games like Fortnite. Step 6. How to use Filter Key Setter for zero delay. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away to use Filter Key Setter for improving keyboard input responsiveness. Begin by opening the tool. No installation is needed. Just run the file directly. In the interface, ensure that the option Ignore. Quick keystrokes and or set the repeat rate is selected. Set the ignore under value to zero mes so that every key press, even the fastest taps, is registered. Then adjust the repeat delay to 130 milliseconds, which controls how long you need to hold a key before it starts repeating. Next, set the repeat rate to 10 milliseconds to ensure held keys repeat very quickly. Ideal for reducing input delay in gaming. Under the flag section, make sure on and available are checked. You can also optionally enable show status or key click for feedback. Before finalizing, check save to registry so the settings persist system-wide, then click OK to apply. After applying these changes, you should notice smoother and faster keyboard responsiveness, especially in fast-paced games like Fortnite. For better insight, you can record a short game player typing session before and after applying. The changes to compare the improvement in input speed and precision. Boom! Smoother gameplay and higher FPS with just a few tweaks. If this helped, drop a like and share it with your squad. More FPS tips coming soon.